Hi, welcome back. How are you doing? In this quick video, I will show you how you can get rid of these ugly halos from a mask image in a quick and easy way. So you have mask out your layer, but still have this halo around it. You could go back to the mask and fine tune it by using dodging, burning or smudging to fix it. However, the easiest way is to use a minimum blur filter. Make sure your mask is added as a child layer, then add a live minimum blur filter to it. The minimum filter contracts your selection. Just apply a value that works for your image and your mask. Awesome! This filter now affects the whole mask. You probably don't want that. The advantage of a live filter is that it comes with a mask. So let's invert it and paint with white on the areas we want it to be applied to. Now you might feel the effect is too much. No problem. The second advantage of having it as a live filter is that we can adjust it anytime as needed. For this image I will lower the value, which looks much better. We still got one problem area left we need to fix. The halos around the hair. Depending on your new background there are different ways to solve this. In this example I have a solid red background. And with solid backgrounds the easiest way is to add a child pixel layer and fill with the same color. Then apply a mask to it, invert the mask and paint with white on the areas that need fixing. This doesn't look good yet, but if we apply the blend mode to darken, the problem is fixed. Depending on the halo color you might need a different blend mode or adjustment. As there is also some white leaking in the subject itself, you can change your brush flow and paint on the areas where leaking of the white is happening. This will make sure your subject blends in perfectly with the new background color. I hope you found this video useful and as always thanks for watching.